Hey guys, it's Chris. And this is not Amiga related, but still kind of neat. This is a Frigidaire Piezo Mini 6 can refrigerator, right? How did it work? Running for three years. Basically, 12 volt or uh, 110 here in the United States or 120. So it was working fine, and then now it's not. When you turn it on, it's just blips and the fan pulses. I tried giving it the old jump start, took the back off. It's a simple, super tiny power supply. So I'm going to take it off again, and I think the caps are dried off because these piezo devices, it's basically a computer heat sink that a fan blows across. It does some magic and produces the cooling effect from the cooling of the metal and there's insulation and goodies inside that uh, keep the cold in of course. Uh, I took this apart at work and of course I lost a screw and I have a sinus infection so both of my ears are clogged up even though my nose isn't can't hear a damn thing everything is muffled. Alright so that's five of the six screws lost the other one Here's the simple cooling system. One, big old heat sink. One, junky power supply. Something down here. What is that? Here's the 12 volt. Some kind of something there. And some goes to the Peltier kind of thing. Did I say Piezo? Peltier cooler. And uh, two Rubicons. One big dude. I don't have that in stock. I can tell you that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do the right thing and take this board out. Looks like a Rifa cap, but the newer kind that don't blow up as bad. Uh, these are just cheap Chinese caps. I thought that was a Panasonic or a Rubicon. They're CA. Don't know who that is. I don't know if there's anything left in these caps, but we're going to find out. Negative, positive. 0 0.01, I just drained it. 1.82 volts. This one, 1.78 of what? What's this big hoss here? Negative on this side. Negative. Positive. Busted. Huh, I wonder if that's our problem. Yeah. Zero point zero something. Alright, so this is probably still going to have a charge in it. I'm going to drain these caps by turning it on. That'll drain any residual charges out because it tries to offload everything onto either the Peltier or the, uh... Man, that is just cutting the old finger right there. Woo! Sharp city. Alright, so... Lines in. Nothing. Boop. AC. AC. Forgot about this one. 0 0.06. So we're pretty much drained out. Let's go uh, that big cap again. You and you. You see that thing drain out? 8 volts. 10 volts. What's going on? 1, 6, 8. How do you drain a cap? You just cross it just like you would a flyback or anything else. 200 volts, so that's an AC capacitor. Just where is it? Did you see that? So, just bridged them two together. Close that cap out. I'm also going to look for these capacitors and see if they're poopy. Alright, so with that sucker drained, now we'll take a reading. 0 0.2. Much better. Let's discharge these other two and scare the crap out of myself. Two on the end here. One. Two. Alright, so we'll take that. Negative, positive. Zero point zero. Zero point zero one. So they're discharged. I think they're still good. Pretty sure of it. At least that big mama is. Alright, let me inspect my damage. We've got a couple microcontrollers on here. I have no idea what these things are. These are 25 one thousands. I have these. So this is all the AC, this is all the DC. See that? Jumping around like mad. Either the transformer screwed up because it's DC and it's just pulsing. 
I don't know. I was hoping it was just the fan that was bad, but 122.9 volts. DC's jumping around, so it's probably one of our uh, rectifiers that's screwed up because the DC voltage is either not starting, and that would explain this weird pattern of pulsing. I wonder if I could test it with a PC power supply. Because all it is is 12 volt coming to here. Take that out of there. Gives me a little bit more room. What does this board do? What is that thing? I don't know. We're going to do the right thing. And that's that. And that's that. So that's DC. And we're going to just go. Don't feel like desoldering or nothing. So pretend you're a Varda. Bye bye. Here's our little turd power supply. Don't know anything that's going to be that tiny. Little fins. No cooling, I guess. Nope, no cooling at all. We'll put that over there. If you lose your wire strippers, I use my teeth. Just on the corner of the old canine there. Fits up to a 14 gauge wire. Pretty good. Yours will vary based on your teeth. 12 volt yellow, right? Yep. Okay, that seems sketchy as hell. This is the stupidest idea ever. Hook a motherboard up to it and energize it because it needs to load. Plug a board in to get a fridge running. Seems legit. Alright, well that's booting on my belly. There you go. 12 volts. Lights green. Getting warm. It sucks air in and blows it across the pelt here and gives me cold air. So all I need is a motherboard and a DC power supply. So that's cool, it works. Oh yeah, that got hot quick. So the power supply is what blew up. So I need a 600 watt and a Mithlon motherboard. Well this is an Intel and a uh, yep, power supply. The rectifier is just I do have some red right here. Did this big cap blow its load? It's red. I don't know if you can see that. It's like spewed. Could be heat. It gets really hot in here. So we'll start by throwing this one in the trash and I'll buy myself a, something else and make it work with this. So let me buy that stuff and in the future I'll zoom back to this video that I probably won't ever finish shooting and we'll get it all sorted. But it's a nice little refrigerator. This sucker was like 40 some odd dollars at the old Walmartian. Got it a long time ago, three years ago. So it was running for a whole year while it wasn't working. And when we finally went back into work, it was still cold, still going. So I drank the four teas that were in it, turned it off, went and got a refill this morning and turned it back on. Now this has been a while. It's been off for a month or so. Flipped it back on. Thought nothing of it. It was sitting on my desk so I reached behind. That's the cat freaking out in the litter box. And uh, two hours later my drinks were still warm and that's when I turned around and looked and saw the light blinking. That's how I knew the old power supply had given up the old poo. So what I did was I got online and I ordered the smallest power supply I could find. It's a little bit larger, but it's the same height. You can't see that. So it's a little bit larger, but it's the same height. The idea is, as long as it'll fit back here, I'm good. It'll be close, but we're gonna make it work. We have a simple AC heat shrunk tube in and a DC out. Now for S and G's, I'm gonna do the safe thing and that is just twist tie these together and not touch it. I want to see if the fan comes on and if this sucker gets cool or well, hot, which would be cool on the inside. The cool thing is it kept the same cable color so we know we're okay with AC and DC. The DC is only a... shoot, I don't even know what it is. Let's see. 3 amps or 0 0.7 amps. What the hell does that say? 0 0.7 amps AC. 
48 watts. Whoops, I got a 35 watt. Huh. Well, we'll see if it works. Let me see something here. Yes, sir. We will fit. We're going to have to go real close, though, because we got... All right. You're good. I'm trying to figure out a spot for the power supply that's not going to interfere with this. Now I could sacrifice one of these dudes, and it would fit up here. Sideways. First, baby, come out sideways. But that would interfere with the heat dissipation of the thingamabobber. Let's just see if this crapper works first. All right, that looks safe. I'll plug this into the solar. It's not enough power. So it's blip, blip, blip. We need more power, Captain. 0 0.7 amps, 48 watts. I have 35 watts. Well, I got a small power supply if I ever need one. Meanwell, that's the company. They mean well. So hang on while I buy another power supply. And bip to the future. So hi, welcome back to another day. It's been about, I don't know, a week or so? I'm going to get a small Meanwell power supply. So I got an actual Meanwell 12 volt switching 40 or 50 watt 50 watt power supply to which I'm going to try and stuff in this nice area right here and it will fit in right underneath of there and actually fit so I need to angle this to get the maximum for shizzle and I'm gonna stick a screw in it or something or knock these on the floor that's what I'll do these are really short tails, so I'm just going to rig this in a way that it'll work and come on or not come on. Now I can use the factory plug. It'll use this power supply. And bada bing, bada ching. And it does have a little potentiometer type switch right here. Now if this works, I'm going to put some proper uh, electrical clips on it. AC comes in, DC goes out. Plug it in, hope for the best. I don't know. So we'll turn it on off first. We'll turn it on off, yes. We'll plug it into the solar so I can blow that whole thing up. And there we go. Fan comes on. Starting to draw some heat. Now, nice, good, 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 good. I will have to clean this up, just tickle. But, it fits with the door closed. I'm getting air out the side and the bottom is going to blow right past the power supply and that's going to cool it. Now what I need to do is I'm going to toss a screw in here while this is running just to hold the back in place and we're going to bust out Luke Skywalker and check the internals. So outside temperature 72.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Inside 59 and going down. So it's uh, working. Now this will chill a soda down pretty good. Whoops. So if you keep in the door closed and you just got a couple cans in here at your desk, it actually works pretty good. So 47 degrees and lowering. Can I get inside there and shoot a laser across the... No. Let's check it now. It's been five seconds. 45.9, 46, 44, 7. So, what was it, 8 Celsius? Oh my god, get back to American. Is that cold in Celsius? I don't know. How do I get back to. There we go. Alright, so 46 degrees Fahrenheit and falling. Where's the laser? 43. So it's getting quite cool in there for refrigerating cans or your sandwich that's pretty neat the mean wall power supply I bought was a 12 volt 4.2 amp 50 watt the original power supply was a 12 volt DC 110 volt 48 watt the cool thing is, is it's working again I can take this back work and chill that case 
of Dr. Pepper's that I have sitting in my desk floor. Finally, I'm not using the DC voltage, I'm using the AC 120 in, and we're rocking. I will take the cover off of this, I'm going to tidy up those wires a little better, pigtail clips, and put the screws back in, get it mounted to the unit, not the uh, case itself, so in case the lid ever needs to come back off, maybe, we'll figure something out. But, that has been my repair, a lengthy one for a simple task for this little frigid air uh, refrigerator. And it works through the, you know, thermal induction properties of a computer heatsink, pretty much. Big old sucker. But it works very well. This one ran for a couple years, like I said in the previous part of this video. And it worked for years until the little piece of junk power supply pooped out. Guess it got too hot. I don't know. So this, uh, this mean well that I got should really do the trick for a long time. As my dad always said, at least take your things apart uh, and look at them. It could be something as simple as a fuse or a power supply, and you don't have to replace the whole unit because nine times out of ten, parts are replaceable. And if you just take the time to look, you might save yourself a couple bucks. Or if you're like me, you might buy the wrong thing enough times that you could have bought another one. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.